everybody. Hey, look at this. Los tres amigos están juntos de nuevo. I, yep, they haven't seen each other for a long time, as in maybe three days because everybody is pretty much indoors right now and Cousin It is out here all by his lonesome. So I've taken the opportunity for this intro and to say hi to everybody that is watching this video to reunite the three of them together and thank you for being here. So Cousin It is telling me that Hibiki doesn't look too hip anymore. And he's right to a degree. We have been so spoiled with Hibiki being so floriferous and beautiful and bright. Some of the blooms are now kind of fading, but you know, not all clusters are gone, Cousin It. Don't be rude, okay? You haven't seen Hibiki for a couple of weeks and here you are already, you know, judging, judging. We don't do that. No judging here, all right? Also, <laughs> he told me, ah, oh, my Prostechia here, my Garciana Alba. He told me, yep, yeah, bud blast, bud blast. And I'm like, yep, I know bud blast because it has to move inside. It cannot handle the temperatures that you can handle. But look, there's still plenty of beautiful blooms to come. So I don't know what you're talking about. All these blooms are for everybody that is watching this video. Thank you so very much for being here and they are super fragrant, so I don't know what you're complaining about. All right, be a little bit more welcoming, Cousin It. It would bode you well. So thank you for being here. Appreciate your time. I've had some more beautiful blooms open up that I could dedicate to everybody that watches and comments on my videos. Really appreciate having you here. Your support is just as much appreciated, even if you're not mentioned today. So my Hibiki, what's left of those beautiful blooms, and my Garciana Alba here, what's still coming and blooming, they go to everybody that is here today to say thank you very, very much for watching. And I am being given a heads up. Cousin It wants to share a secret, but first of all, this is not about you, Cousin It. This is about everybody else who's being named here today. So let's go see what's going on there. And we'll get back to whatever it is you want to tell us. I have this adorable Tulumnia that I want to dedicate to an orchid ninja, Diane. Thank you so much for your support. You have been so helpful to my channel in the background and words can't really describe or express how grateful I am for that. But hopefully my little Tulumnia, supposedly firm Dalmatian does the trick. I am so happy to have a maroon colored Tulumnia in my collection. I do love my yellows, my browns, my oranges, and all that good, fun, bright stuff. But when this one opened up, I was well pleased. And I know that you love this color. So, Orchid Ninja, Diane San. This supposed Tulumnia Firm Dalmatian, she blooms for you the whole spike, the first spike of this orchid ever. There she is in her basket with lava rock. I hope everything is in focus. I have such gorgeous sunshine warming my back. I can hardly see my screen. I even reverted to filming this on a phone because everything is just blurred out by the bright sun. But I did want to film these blooms in the sun because my goodness, they are gorgeous. And actually they come out true in color. There's just a little bit of a difference from real life as opposed to what you see on the viewfinder. The deep burgundy color is much, much richer. But the spotting and the pink flaring around the lip there, that is identical. It's just the burgundy in the middle that is all much richer, like a deep burgundy velvet. Fabulous, so pleased. This little one is just starting to open but I like to film my spikes when there's still a little bit of movement on the last buds, just so that I get them as fresh as possible. Tulumnia blooms are long lasting, but as this one is blooming for me for the first time, if it is a firm Dalmatian, it will probably do a little bit of color changing, but I wanted to capture them if they were to color change. I wanted to capture them while they were so dark and rich in color. I'm absolutely in awe of this orchid, even though she may be mislabeled. So firm Dalmatian, we shall see in future if she starts to fade out and pale away a little bit, which wouldn't be a problem, but I am so happy 
to have a maroon colored tolumnia. So Orchid Ninja, Diane San, thank you very, very much for your support on my channel, for becoming an Orchid Ninja. I really appreciate it. Again, there's no language in the world that can actually do my gratitude justice. There's just not. Thank you so much is all I can offer at this point in time, but it goes much, much deeper than that. Thank you very much, Orchid Ninja, Diane Sun. To say thank you to Mark Caputo and Third TV, I have a golden peacock spike. I am so pleased. This orchid is now back in its rhythm. It has got spike after spike coming, so all the abuse right at the beginning of the growing season of 2021. She has managed to pull through and is now back in the rhythm of blooms after blooms after blooms. And for that, I am very grateful. Even though I don't feel as though I have been missing out in 2021 with this orchid because of other blooms going on, other challenges going on. Meanwhile, she just started to recover and get her strength back. Sorry about the breeze, but I do love the fact that I have a bit of cloud cover today, not personally, but for filming because now the orange really, really pops and the colors are not washed out. But yes, yeah, so my golden peacock has now found its feet again and we are back in business the way she normally does. One spike is fading, the other one has just opened. <laughs> oh boy, I love the color on the screen. And the next one is in bud. Now, I do believe that this orchid will take a break, even though she's already working on her next new growth. But, you know, for the longevity that these blooms have, it's going to feel like she is going to be in bloom up until Christmas. And yeah, we need this kind of color around, especially as the darker months of the years come. Mark Caputo, Third TV, my Pro Catavola Golden Peacock. This spike blooms for the two of you. To say thank you so much for your support on my channel. And I hope that the two of you are doing well in your part of the world. I really appreciate your support and know that you have not been ignored or overlooked. Thank you, Mark Caputo and Third TV. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This is Vanda Greenlight or as I bought her, Chris Netzia Green Light. And why I'm saying it is unbelievable is because when we did a care collab earlier in the season, all the spikes and blooms were in Florida. Most of them were also kept repeating over and over again over there in New York. Here in Southern Spain, nada, absolutely nada. And then I put her back in the sunny location where she used to live last year in 2020. Thinking nothing of it, I thought my bloom season had gone by. Look, <laughs> Chris Netzia Greenlight is in bloom for Jen Yamaguchi. I know the Tolumnias are gorgeous, flanking her like that. I thought that was a pretty little shot, so I kept it that way. But it's the Chris Netzia Greenlight here that is blooming for Jen Yamaguchi. To say thank you so much, Jen, for your support on my channel here. I really, really appreciate it. Maybe we can get in a little bit closer just to see the beautiful detail of those petals from the back. If I can focus, even the camera wants to stick with the tolumnias back there. There we are. That beautiful little pink stripe there and the spur. I'm going to have to ban that tolumnia because that's what the camera wants to look at. This is what I want you to focus on, would you? Yeah, the tolumnia has got to go. <laughs> so let's try that again. There we go. I love those little stripes in the back. And the spurs, of course, make a nice little touch. The two of them facing in the same direction. And look, I have more spikes to come there and there. If these buds don't blast because of all the moving I've had to do with my orchids coming in and out so that they can enjoy some natural light, I may lose some of the buds, but these two for the time being, oh my goodness, they don't have a fragrance because they don't see much sun at the moment. It is bright where they are indoors. 
but I don't have that lemony fragrance of the Neo that is apparent in here. Doesn't matter. Green light, green blooms, a spur, it bloomed. What can I say? There's another spike right up here as well. Very, very pleased. Jen Yamaguchi. My Chris Nezia, and I will call her Chris Nezia because I just love that name. It fits so much better than to say Vanda. But these two beautiful blooms, they are for you. And thank you so much for your support on my channel. Now, because my Tulumnia Golden Fire was constantly hogging that lens, I am going to take her straight on board and dedicate another branching cluster of this gorgeous Tulumnia to Eleonora Puscedu. And I hope that I pronounced your name correctly. I wanted to dedicate my beautiful cluster right here, just fresh in comparison to the ones that have been open for a while now. But having this attribute of branching spikes, Tulumnia start to just get better and better, even if there's older blooms on the spike as the newer ones just open. Fantastic contrast. This is Tulumnia Golden Fire, if I didn't mention it before to say thank you so much to Eleonora Puscedu for your support here on my channel. And I really, really hope you're doing well in your part of the world. I find it absolutely astonishing how these blooms now have flares. And I know that these are a little bit older, but they didn't open with flares. Certainly not. And they didn't open with dots either. Look at that spotting on these blooms. I hope that's evident. Suddenly, every single time this golden fire branches, there's another detail that the blooms open with. And I love it, just adds to the diversity. So this one is currently sporting two spikes, even though the ones on the left are also a little bit tired, but they've got that gorgeous spotting. And then we have the difference here in what just opened as a branch for Eolonora and then the older ones that opened first time before everything else happened with these spikes. Gotta love Tolumnias, just gotta love them. Never mind the size of the blooms. It's the, ugh, they just are so diverse, so giving, long lasting, love it. Eleonora Puscedu, thank you very much for your support here on my channel, my little branching cluster of Tolumnia Golden fire blooms for you. My beautiful golden seller is back. Yes, I skipped the year with her. Yeah, 2020, I skipped. I did not get to see the blooms. I think she had a little bit of acclimating to do, even though I had a bloom in 2019, but here we are. Bigger, beautiful, and a little bit more detail than she had in 2019. For Abada and Jack Scoots, I have two blooms, one each for the two of you. Abada, I went to Google Translate, so I hope that you do see this video one day and don't think that you are ignored. This is what it came up with, so I could say your name in English. But you subscribed in February of 21, and thank you very, very much for being here. Jack Scoots, thank you to you as well for being here supporting me on my channel. And unfortunately, I have blooms that are sort of like back to back. I don't know, are they having a little hissy fit here? It could be an issue with light because where she was developing her buds, there is a very white facade facing this way. And I believe the reflection of that white facade made the bloom think there was more light coming from this side than there was from this side. Super interesting how they figure that out. But anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit more of the detail in these blooms because in the sun, the colors wash out even more. She is not a bright, bright yellow. She is a very baby yellow. But for the first time, I'm actually seeing the pink flares on the edges here. I love that. Now she's got some character. When I first saw her bloom, I was impressed by the size of the lip, but I wasn't exactly like, um, yeah, this bloom is, you know, knocking me out. 
Meanwhile, I am a little bit spoiled because I've got others in bloom that look a lot more majestic than this one. But considering now that she skipped a year, I do believe these blooms have a charm to them because of that added detail on the petals and sepals. And you can see that in the back, the sepals still have that pink blush. The characteristics of these blooms are really starting to show. There's quite a breeze going on, but you can see that the petals really, really having to move in the blustery breeze. She is a very strong bloom. She's not frail for a cat leo of this size. This is a beautiful picture of how the two contrast, the front with the flare, the back of the sepal with the flare. She smells a little bit like um, a very light lemon. There is a hint of citrus, like essential oil citrus, but it's very, very mild. It is not something where you say, mm, yes, that fragrance is gorgeous. You have to be very close with your nose to the bloom to be able to appreciate it. But that's great. I'm glad because the first time she bloomed for me, I didn't have a fragrance at all. And I was like, well, you know, but here we are two blooms, she is now finally doing what she's supposed to and looking how she is supposed to look. Very, very beautiful. And the colors are true on the viewfinder. So she is a very, very pale yellow. And all these colors, I don't even have to explain them. They are correct. Fantastic. Oh, look, if you can see that, there's two pink pointy accents on that column, like little fangs. Beautiful, very, very beautiful. I believe about three weeks is what I'm gonna get out of these blooms based on the time of year that she's blooming for me. So it's not that hot that they would frazzle. Abada, thank you. Jack Scoots, thank you as well for your support here on my channel. This is not the prettiest day to be outside. It is still somewhat warmish, but it is a great day for filming. I am facing away from the orchid <laughs> because of the wind that we're having right now. So I'm just trying to protect the mic. I hope everything goes well because I want to say thank you very, very much to Seresta Collins and Joseph's Tropical Tanks for being so supportive here on my channel. Now I'm going to turn around. The breeze has stopped a little bit, so we're gonna time this clip in such a way that we get it right. Now this is of course a bloom that is fading, but I thought I would show it to you anyway because there's still structure and beauty about it, even though the smile is not as vivid and bright and McLean's like <laughs> as the newest bloom. So we'll just nip that off so that we have the two blooms that I'm dedicating. That's this one here and this one right here for Seresta Collins and Joseph's Tropical Tanks. Lady Chatterley or Phalaenopsis Corn of Survey variety Chatterley Day has been super productive this season. Couldn't really ask for more. I didn't even expect it to be like this because yes, we are in November and <laughs> this is a summer bloomer. No complaints whatsoever, even though her fragrance isn't there anymore. She normally smells of a sweet plastic, but not this time of year. And I think we are done. After these two blooms have faded here, I think she is finally going to call it a season. And then I hope that no more spikes get absorbed throughout the winter. And maybe she'll decide to push out a third spike in the coming season of 2022. Greedy much? <laughs> That's just because now that I've seen what she can do, yeah, we want more, right? So Seresta Collins, Joseph's Tropical Tanks. Thank you very, very much for your support here on my channel. Hope you are both doing well in your part of the world. No matter the hemisphere, if you're heading into spring, lucky you. I'm jealous. <laughs> and if you're in fall, winter, well, let's hope that the time flies just as fast throughout these coming months as I feel the summer has passed. So I wanted to point something out with regards to this orchid. And if you've ever watched the videos prior where she's featured, there was a root and look where it is now. And it's just been slowly, slowly, slowly. And now it's about to go into the media, which I love. 
And then there's something else I wanted to point out about her. Because she's been in my blooming alley for so, so long, this leaf is starting to turn towards the light. You can see the other one still faces us this way. But the light source of this orchid in my blooming alley is from the back. So the newest leaf is wanting to turn. So that's not going to happen. I still have her in my blooming alley, but I've moved her in such a way that the light source is coming from this side because this is energy consumption I don't want her to have to deal with. I want her to be able to just focus on growing her leaves and not focus on where she needs to turn the leaves so that she faces the light. Otherwise, also, it'll start to look really, really wonky long term. Anyway, that's just a little thing I wanted to show you because I've noticed that she has been in bloom for so long. She has been in my blooming alley for so long and that leaf is starting to react according to her light source and I would prefer it not to. Most importantly, Seresta Collins and Joseph's Tropical Tanks, your support on my channel is very, very much appreciated. And my last two blooms of the season of 2021 if I'm counting correctly, I've had about 17 blooms from this orchid staggered throughout the season. That's not too shabby. Thanks to both of you. Please stay safe. I appreciate your support very, very much. Okay, your turn. What is it? What is it that you want to tell us? Because Stealing the show here, it, it just won't cut it, okay? We're a team. We all work together here. What, what, what's going on? <gasps> no. For real? But it's only November. What are you doing? Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're going to take over? You're showing Debicki now who's the boss? Seriously? Well, there's one. How proud can you be about one? Oh my goodness, there's another one right down here. Cousin It, you are about to bloom. What is happening? That is far too soon. Oh, but that is wonderful news because now, yes, now you're going to be in the spotlight almost every time, taking over Hibiki's place. Aren't you happy? Thank you very much for sharing your secret with us. Very much appreciated. I see two buds. We have a ways to go, but you're incredible. In November, you're showing buds. That's insanity. Last year, it was December. The year before that, I only saw you bloom in February. Bring it on. Whatever it is that is motivating you, bring it on. So thank you for sharing that with us. And everybody else, thank you so very, very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I'm going to let these three get on with it. They can do the bloom battle all on their own here. <laughs> Have yourselves a beautiful day. On one condition, please, stay safe. Take care. Bye.